All right, today we're going to be making crystals with borax. We're going to be using these in our dioramas as little outcroppings of crystals sticking out like a little cliffs. I'm doing a little bit bigger project down the road. And this is the technique. At the same time, I'm going to show what else can be done with this in a ways as art or other ideas that can be used to make different things like from ornaments to geometric shape. Um, some of the items you're going to need is some wire, or some kind of um, food coloring will work or alcohol inks. Their colors of pipe cleaners, their borax, some jars, some bamboo skewers. We're going to get started. Here's one of the mushrooms that I put together. This will be hung in the jar upside down like this when we go to have the crystals form. The way I did that is I just took some old eggshells and I took my diamond tool, put it on my board and slowly twisted till the diamond tool came through and then made a little bit larger of a hole. You can buy eggs pre-made that are hollow. They're called blowing eggs, I believe, um, online if you want to do that. Um, I'm not out to have perfectly formed eggs, but that would be kind of a fun project to do decorative eggs crystallized on the outside. I'm going to do two different mushrooms. I'm going to do this red one. I'm going to kind of repeat the same process with this purple. And then I'm gonna put this in inks. The red one will be put into the red ink. Unfortunately, my purple has metallic flakes in it. And I don't recommend adding a metallic flake to the borax solution. It kind of coagulates or groups together on the top. It can do some really cool effects, but um, it just doesn't mix in nearly as well. So with the purple, I'm just actually going to do blue on top of the purple stems. And it'll be just a little difference in color between the tops and the stems, but not much. All right. The way I set those up is, is the first thing I did after I got my hole put through is I made just a little knot on this one. This one I wrapped around circular around the top so I came through left a little out folded it down and wrapped around like this around the top of the eggshell I want to just do a little bit different of a top so this one's just gonna have just a very small amount just enough to hold the eggshell onto the keep the eggshell from sliding through it's just gonna have a little tiny top on top where the crystals will form around that so now we just need to figure out how to do the stem. Well, the way I did this one is I took a bamboo skewer and I wrapped my pipe cleaner around the bamboo skewer like so. Now, unless you hold this as you keep going, it will just twist. So you just gotta keep a hold of it while you do this. And I just twisted it up. And what that does is it just puts a little hollow channel so I can pass this pipe cleaner over the top of this down and kind of get it to glue in place and hold the top in the center. As like this one is when we hang it upside down. Now, you can do different styles with this. You can have a little off kilter, however you want, however you want your mushrooms to form. But just remember, I'm thinking there's going to be a quarter inch crystal form or a quarter inch crystallization, I guess, around this shaft that's sticking out. It's still going to be even a little um, pliable in a sense because this is a little bit thicker. And I'm keeping that in mind when I'm doing like my geometric shapes like this. And you'll see some really cool ones that I have done. Now we're just going to slide it down this. I'm slowly working it back and forth. I'm kind of just transferring from one to the other. 
and that's how we're gonna hang that upside down so the top will be blue this will be much darker blue with the purple maybe showing through the blue crystals a little bit this will be really dark red with a red crystallization around here and that's how I made my two little mushrooms that we're gonna do for our geometric shapes and our little outcropping it's pretty easy I just cut four little equal pieces wrap one around here to make a little thing to hold them and I bent them into the shape I want remember keep in mind that this has to hang in your jar without touching the edges or the bottom same thing with your geometric shapes all right when you're doing your geometric shapes the easiest way I found to get accurate fold lines is to use a ruler and that's how I did each one of these same when you do like a square you would just continue onward all the way around there's your base glue the ends together as you go all the way around and then cut these to fit this is where I use the CA glue so be careful don't glue your fingers to it take your time so I use a large spoon it's probably it's a good tablespoon I use three heaping scoops per eight ounces of water now you can play with this a little bit, but they say saturated so it won't absorb no more borax. Well, by the time you figure that out, you got too much borax in your solution. So I suggest start with a measurement like I did and work down or up from there. I found two and a half wasn't enough. I found four was a little thicker. Three. So it's about a third of the volume of the eight ounces. We're gonna put eight ounces of water on top of that. And I just keep mixing until everything looks dissolved and it starts to be clear. See a few chunks floating in there. I'm just keep stirring until they disappear. That's important, just keep stirring until it's clear as it gets. Now, all I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to pause this. I'm going to make two things of hot water real quick and mix my borax at the same time back to back. And Right before I put these in, I'll start the camera back up so you can watch me dip them in, and then we'll just set them off to the side after we shoot the inks in. Okay, I just got done stirring these. Not bad, they're clearing up. I'm gonna dip the red one in this side. with the dye. Now we're just going to let them sit. Probably two, three hours. Slightly check them. Got to be careful because crystals sometimes form a little crust on the top. Just make sure you're not touching anywhere around. Alright, we're going to pull these out real quick. What I did here is, is I scraped the crystals away from the eye because you're going to see the eye through the crystals. It turned out really cool. Here within the jar, 
don't want to hit too much of the bottom of this, but I want the, the crystals on the side of the jar, just on the inside. So I took a little flathead screwdriver and I'm just working this back and forth after I stuck it upside down and let it dry. All right, as you can see here, here's our little finished project. The little mushrooms it turned out great. Kind of different. I love this piece with the eye. We'll use it in definitely one of my uh, one of my builds. Great color. You can play around with this. Here's a little uh, pyramid that we made, and our little green outcropping. Here's some other shapes I've made. A bush, a crystal tree to be used this way as an ornament. Same with this as an ornament. Here's another egg. Some more egg bits. Different colors. Painted gold around this. Here's another outcropping of yellow. Cube. More little outcroppings. another 3D design. These are all just little squares put together. Another egg. Can even do little hearts. What I like is just putting them together. 